Hi, this is Gali Gopak. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today, we're going to be talking about how to gain weight for uh, in a healthy way for people who think they are too skinny. Now, our weight uh, plays a vital role in our health and well-being. While most people are trying to lose weight, some people are actually trying to gain weight. And surprisingly, they fail. Because while shedding unwanted pounds is challenging for some, so can gaining weight for those who feel they are too skinny or underweight. Now, feeling too thin uh, can be just as frustrating for people as being overweight. Thin people may feel less sexy, uh, less attractive, which may lead to a lowered self-esteem, just as being overweight may feel for others. Thinness may be genetic or may follow an illness where you lost a lot of body mass uh, due to injury or disease. Now, whether you need to gain weight after healing from an illness or are recovering from an injury um, or are just plain, just genetically thin, here are ways to start to gain weight in a healthy way. First of all, I want to talk about calories. If you do a Google search for healthy weight gain, you may find suggestions to increase your calorie load, but not all calories have the same effect on your body weight, uh, which is definitely not the way to go for healthy weight gain. You want to gain weight healthily and not only gain fat tissue. You do want to change the composition of your diet to incorporate foods that will lead to natural growth. You may be too thin because your body is using up too much energy for different internal or external activities. This is common if you participate in endurance sports, like uh, running a marathon a long distance. Um, during disease, this is also common, a healing after disease, and when your, when your diet is not in line with your personal health requirements, um, such as you may uh, suffer from certain allergies. Um, which which will lead to diarrhea and wasting away. Therefore, in order to gain weight, you first of all must avoid foods that lead to wasting away uh, naturally, such as uh, foods, a diet rich in meat products. You also want to avoid foods that you have an intolerance or an allergy for. Uh, the most common foods people have intolerances and allergies towards include shellfish, fin fish, eggs, milk, um, dairy products, uh, especially milk, uh, soy products, wheat, uh, tree nuts, and peanuts. Now, if you suffer from diarrhea or have very low energy levels and perhaps anemia, I suggest avoiding these allergen, allergenic foods um, until you strengthen your body and regain your healthy weight. Now, if you are not wasting tissues you do not, and you do not suffer from uh, diarrhea and you are just genetically thin, then you do not need to avoid these food groups. Now, let's talk about uh, strength and stamina. Building up your strength while on the path to weight gain is just as essential to ensure that your weight is healthy and you create a balance between your fat and muscle mass. You want to start with moderate weightlifting, adding more weight as you go along. One of the reasons you may feel that you need to gain more weight is feeling weak and that your body is not in its best condition. You, you can avoid this by consuming a nutrient-dense diet. Uh, uh, filled with nutrient-dense foods such as dried fruits, varied uh, vegetables, um, shakes with added green leafy vegetables, and lifting weights. Now let's talk about protein. To build muscle tissue and help your body heal, your diet will need a sufficient amount of protein. The type of protein consumed is essential for the gain of muscle mass while maintaining health. I do not recommend what is considered as quality protein. Uh, meaning that it contains all of the essential amino acids in one food. This is not necessary. So long as you provide your body with all of the essential amino acids in, in sufficient quantities throughout the day. You can check my article on sufficient protein quantities um, in the link um, at the bottom at the description of this video. <laughs> now, when overcoming disease, you will want to increase protein intake to about 0.9 grams of protein per every kilo of body weight. I suggest consuming proteins from plant-based sources and reducing red meat consumption to no more than one portion a week. The foods that have healthy proteins and will support recovery include quinoa, nuts, legumes, all types of um, legumes, um, whether it be beans, peas, lentils, also algae and seaweed, uh, tahini and other seed-based foods are excellent, um, or just plain seeds uh, like um, 
pumpkin seeds and uh, sesame seeds and um, uh, sunflower seeds. These are excellent. Chia seeds, um, hemp seeds, uh, flax seeds. You should include these foods in your diet regularly. You may see articles recommending protein supplements just, such as whey protein to increase weight gain. I do not recommend these supplements. Not only is there no need to spend uh, extra money on these supplements, these often contain processed food items that are not health supporting. Now let's move on to talk about fats. If you are genetically thin or healing from disease, you should consume healthy fats regularly to help your body maintain heat and produce sufficient hormones and to be in healthy uh, balance. Now healthy fats will help you regain lost weight and keep your brain functioning well. Uh, the best fatty foods are foods rich in natural healthy fats and omega-3 fatty acids. You want to cook foods with pure coconut oil. You want to consume avocados nuts, seeds of all sorts, not only for their fat content, but these also help the body absorb fat-soluble vitamins and are very rich in nutrients needed to regain health. Now, only if you are genetically very thin, but very healthy and would like to gain a few pounds, making a temporary dietary change um, to include foods rich in fat, then I recommend consuming organic dairy products. These will do the trick. If you are lactose intolerant, go for organic cheeses. These naturally have less lactose, but still have the growth factors that will help you gain uh, the extra weight that you desire. Now. I do not recommend dairy products uh, for people recovering from disease because of the inflammation they may cause and other uh, uh, ingredients that there are in these um, in the dairy products. However, if you are naturally thin and healthy and do want to gain some weight, adding dairy products low in lactose to your diet is a good way to achieve this goal. I recommend trying this dietary change for 13 to 25 days until the weight gain is achieved. After this, I recommend uh, stopping the dairy products but eating sufficient calories to maintain your new weight. There is no need to consume dairy products to hold your new weight gain consistently. I recommend that you do not continue with the consumption of dairy products after this growth period. Now let's talk about carbohydrates. Healthy carbohydrates are needed uh, for energy to fuel the cells of your body. You want to consume healthy whole grains and root vegetables in, uh, that are rich in carbohydrates at least three times a day, like whole grain rice, along with potatoes, um, along with energy dense uh, snacks between meals that include high carbohydrate and high energy dense foods such as dried fruit, dark chocolate uh, of 90% uh, plus cocoa, uh, whole grain crackers and trail mixes. Uh, you do not want to be consuming um, refined carbohydrates at all. Even th though these will help you gain excess weight, it is not a way to gain weight uh, to gain weight in a healthy way. Now, I also want to talk about sleep. It is essential to get sufficient sleep because sleep is crucial for muscle growth and for many other processes in the body. You want to aim for seven and a half to eight hours of sleep every night. The best way to ensure a good night's sleep is by going to bed at the same time and waking up at the same time. You want to set an alarm. Um, for going to bed just as you want to set one up for waking up. You may also add red melatonin rich foods uh, just before bedtime to support healthy deep sleep. You can see my uh, video on this in the link in the description below. Now uh, the takeaway. Consuming a slightly more food than you feel you need and consuming uh, uh, high energy dense uh, whole carbohydrate foods uh, such as dried fruits um, and whole grains, uh, high healthy fats like avocado, coconut, nuts and seeds, high plant-based protein um, in your diet like legumes, nut pastes, is what you will need to gain weight in a healthy way while avoiding, you want to avoid triggering foods that you may be, have sensitivity towards. And if you are not recovering from any illness, adding organic whole dairy products especially cheeses low in lactose for two to four weeks until your ideal weight is reached is also um, another way to go about this. At first, your body may resist uh, the changes by increasing your metabolic rate uh, and uh, your hunger levels will be balancing uh, this. However, if you persist in consuming slightly more healthy foods than you feel you need, you may uh, push yourself 
uh, to do this even if your brain tells you that you are full already, this is primarily because of the satiety hormone leptin, um, you will, if you continue and persist, you will achieve your healthy weight and it will become your default weight which is um, natural. Now, of course, you do not need to gain weight. If you are thin and healthy, then maybe this is, uh, then you should be very thankful for this. But if you feel you need a, a few more um, pounds to make you feel and look your best, then this is the way to go about this. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you enjoy anything to do with your health and weight uh, videos about this. And please visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.